Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Ellery here. Chaotic times in my house right now, you know, we have a lot going on, but shout out to Target. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I've already showed you guys how I clean most of my house, my basement, my living room, my bedroom, and now I'm gonna specifically focus on the kitchen using sustainable products. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know that I've swapped out a lot of products that I use as far as even food. I've switched almost everything to organic when I can find it. And also like household products, cleaning products. I've been switching to more sustainable, cleaner, biodegradable, and I'm gonna show you some of my favorites that I like to use, especially focused on when I'm cleaning the kitchen, even though some of this stuff you can use outside of the kitchen. Let me show you what my kitchen looks like and then you'll understand why I'm focusing on the kitchen today. So today was Yoshi's filming day. She filmed the Yoshi and Callie cooking show. If you guys watch her channel, you guys know what that's all about. And usually it always leaves my kitchen and my floors in um, a mess, just like this, hot mess. And I am super picky about the products that I use to clean the kitchen because you know kids, it's nasty. They like to eat off the counters. They like to eat off of surfaces. So I always wanna make sure everything is nice and clean. But in order to clean my kitchen with peace, with calmness, you know, she can't be here cause she'll keep coming in here and asking for stuff. And I like to get it done like without any distractions, you know what I mean? If you're a mom, dad, you know what I mean. The kids gotta go when you gotta get stuff done. So she's about to go outside in the backyard. She's upstairs changing and um, yeah, then I can get to my cleaning. This child is taking forever. Yoshi, you done? Bye. Did you put on deodorant? Oh, you stanky stank. Why don't kids care that they stank? It don't make no sense. I had deodorant on the whole time, you know, I'm just putting on an extra layer. Yeah, 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 right. I like to use for Yoshi native deodorant. It has no parabens or aluminum. The scent she liked to use is called eucalyptus and mint. It smells really good and I love to use this on her. You guys gotta remember that your skin is your largest organ. So your deodorant, your lotion, all that good stuff, make sure it has healthy ingredients, you know, because we want our skin to look like this when we're 102, you know? It's possible, it's possible. Switch to them natural products, cruelty free. Speaking of skin, you need sunscreen. It's downstairs. Come on, ma'am, come on, ma'am. Everybody should be familiar with Black Girl Sunscreen. It has SPF 30 and natural ingredients as well. Paraben free, fragrance free, silicone free, aluminum free. It's water resistant for up to 80 minutes. You guys remember you always gotta reapply sunscreen after however long it says it lasts. So this one lasts 80 minutes. And we have sensitive skin in this household, so we always gotta use sunscreens that cater to our sensitive needs. Make sure you put some on your arms, legs, face. Yeah, girl, yeah, girl, lather up, lather up. See, she has no white cast in her pretty little face. Rub it in on your arms. And make sure you rub some on your legs, your body, your neck. And um, I need you just to skedaddle, okay? Go to the backyard. I'll be out there shortly. Just ride your scooter. Don't get in the pool yet until I'm out there because I need to watch you, okay? I know you can swim, but for my sanity levels, I need you to wait until I go out there, okay? okay. So just ride your bike for now. Okay. Skedaddle. Vamos. Andale. Wait, take the sunscreen because you're going to have to reapply. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Bye. All right, now it's time to adult. How fun. I can't wait. <laughs> So let me show you some of the cleaning products that I'm gonna be using today. I don't think I've ever showed you guys what I actually use to clean on any of my Clean With Me videos. I usually just clean. But um, like I said, I switched a lot of products, so I wanna show you some of the stuff that I use that will save you some money eventually. So since I have to do the dishes and the counters first, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use for that. This is the dish soap that I switched to. It's hard to say dish soap. <laughs> Fast. It is called Everspring. It's a biodegradable formula. 97% bio-based and it's made without parabens, without formaldehyde. And I usually pour it into like my soap dispenser. I like to have it match, you know, with the counters. So I pour it into this soap dispenser and I use this to clean my dishes. 
it smells really good too. I use the lemon mint scent. And then for my counters and sometimes for spot treatments on my floor, I use the Casabella Infused Cleaning Concentrate. So what this is, is they give you, like when you first start, you get this water bottle and one of these little cartridges of the concentrate. You fill up the water bottle up to the fill line right here, put the top on with the cartridge and the concentrate dispenses out into the water. That's why it looks a little purple right now because that's the scent I got, lemon lavender. And let's say I use everything in here and then let's just say I use the whole bottle after a couple weeks, couple months or whatever. Then you go back to Target and you get their spray bottle refills. So this is just this little cartridge right here, which is right here. And they sell these in different scents and that way you're not buying a whole new plastic bottle of cleaning product. You use the same bottle every time and you're just getting a new concentrate to refill the bottle with. So it saves plastic. When you use it as directed, it's non-toxic, also biodegradable and cruelty free. You can use it on stainless steel, natural stone, and sealed wood. You gotta check the box to see all the different stuff you can use it on, but you can pretty much use it on almost everything. And this is one of the newer products that I switched to uh, a couple weeks ago because at one point I was cleaning my whole house and I was like out of everything, like every cleaning product that I had and I realized I threw away like four plastic bottles and I kind of felt bad about it because like I said I switched a lot of stuff I'm trying to help the environment so when I threw away like four plastic bottles I was like there gotta be an easier way to like not use so much plastic and I saw my friend using it at her house I said I had to get that so I got that I also got some new kitchen towels Originally, I got them because they were purple, but they are also great sustainable towels as well. Cause another like conscious moment I had, I go through paper towels a lot and I don't like to go through paper towels a lot because number one, the paper towels that I like are very expensive. And number two, it just is a lot of paper towels sometimes. So I was like, I need to cut down on paper towels and start using cloths in the kitchen. I used to clean the kitchen counters with just a really good napkin, but I was using like three, four or five napkins to clean off all the counters and the tables. That wasn't good. So I got some nice, cute, purple cloths. These are also from Casabella. They are microfiber cloths. So on one side, it's really, really soft, like softer than me, which is rare. Just kidding. And then on the other side, it's a little bit more, as you can see, it looks kind of glittery, but it's scratch resistant. So even though it's, you know, a little rough on this side, it is scratch free. So you can use it on any surface, wet or dry. And obviously since they're cloth, they're machine washable. When you buy one pack, it comes with two cloths. So I use one cloth to clean the counters with my infused clean concentrate. And then I use the other cloth to dry off the counters. And they're cute, you know, they match with my purple. You guys know my house is purple and gray, so I can hang it on the outside of my cabinet and it's still cute, you know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta coordinate. All right, so I'm gonna get all these counters cleaned off and you guys are gonna see this kitchen go from a mess to the best. That wasn't a great rhyme, but you know, <laughs> I have mom brain right now, so my bars aren't really, don't worry about it. Now that I have my counters all clear, these counters are clear, I'm gonna use my Casabella Infused All Purpose Cleaning Concentrate to clean them all down with my microfiber cloth. I love the fresh scent that it gives the entire kitchen. Anything with lavender in it or lemon or mint, like it's, it's for me, we're compatible. I always use the softer side of the cloth unless there's like something really stuck in the counter, then I'll switch to the 
rougher side, but for the most part, I usually just use the softer side to absorb the cleaning product. And something that may not matter to most people, I cannot stand a spray bottle, squirt bottle, hair bottle, whatever, where the spout sprays like super sharp or direct instead of like spraying like a mist. I love this spray bottle because it distributes the cleaning product like in a mist fashion as opposed to like <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense, but it's a mist rather than a direct, like sharp spray. You know what I mean? Then after I clean all the counters off, the microfiber cloth is like still damp. So that's when I go over all like my appliances, my stove, my microwave, refrigerator, the faucet, my cabinets, wipe all those down. And obviously after everything is wiped down and clean, you can mist everything with a disinfectant. And after all that cleaning that I just did, my towel still looks like it's new and all I did was rinse it off. I like these compared to just regular cotton towels because I feel like they last longer in between washes. Like I don't like to use my dishcloth for more than like a day or two before I put it in the wash just because I'm cleaning surfaces that we eat off of. So I always like to make sure the cloth is super clean. All that cleaning, all that cake mix and all that, the towel barely looks dirty. So once I clean it with soap and it dries, it's gonna still be cute enough to hang on my cabinet. And then any of the water splatter, I just use my dry microfiber cloth to do a final wipe down around the sink so that there's no water sitting on the counters. My wet cloth is drying off these dry pretty fast. And even the water that I just wiped up off the counter, like it doesn't get super wet like a normal towel would. I love microfiber towels, they're like magic. Now I'm just gonna clean up some of the debris on the floors. I'm gonna pick up anything that's left on the floor and then do a little spot mop. Any areas that I see where I like really spilled something, I just spray with the cleaner and then I go over the floor with my mop. Oh my God. I'm so hot. Do you see this perspiration? Perspiration? Pers pers perspiring? You know what I'm trying to say. I'm hot. That's why I can only clean one room at a time in my house. Don't mind that. That's Yoshi's birthday stuff over there. But oh my gosh, I'm officially done with the cleaning portion. Let's take a look. Let's see what I did. Everything is clean. I'm missing some of my bar chairs that are upstairs, but I love a clean kitchen. There's nothing like it, I tell you. You would think I could relax now, but no. No, I can't. I've been up here for 45 minutes cleaning. I'm sure, I'm surprised she hasn't walked in here already and said, I'm hungry, can I have a snack? So that's what I'm about to do. Actually, I need some water first because I feel like I'm getting lightheaded. If you follow me on Instagram, I think I already mentioned there that I switched from plastic straws to metal straws. Oh. MG. So we used to buy like those bulk plastic straws all the time because me and Yoshi are like straw addicts. We have to have a straw, whatever we drink. I don't care if it's the milk out the cereal bowl. We need a straw. So we were going through them so, so much and I finally got metal straws. And to be honest, I avoided them for so long, even though I needed them for so long because I didn't want to have to clean them, but it's worth it. These straws in particular that I have right here are from Room Essentials. I have like a whole, whole, whole bunch. They have really long ones that curve at the tip, which are good for cups like I'm about to use because it's a really tall cup, so you don't want a really small straw in there. This pack that I have comes with eight and they are different sizes and it comes with this cloth too and um, some cleaners. But they have those long curved straws and they have the long straight straws. They have some shorter straight straws, another shorter straight curved one, and then my fave for my little cocktails when I have my little cup, you know, the little small addition. So, you know, just take a little drink or whatever, you know. <laughs> Might use that a little later, we don't know. <laughs> but, as I said, it's worth it. I don't know if it's that it makes your drink taste better, or the fact that the metal cools with whatever cold drink is inside, like the ice. So then the straw gets super cold, just like the cup. So it's like your drink is cold, cold. And I like my drinks cold, cold, okay? It tastes so much better, so much colder, trust me. And obviously you're saving money because you're not buying straws, you just reuse them. Recycle, reduce, reuse, and close the loop. Didn't we learn that in third grade, y'all? Come on now. As I said though, it's lunchtime, so I'm about to make Yosh a sandwich and take it outside to her because I am her butler. 
She's a pescatarian now, so we're gonna make her grilled cheese because, you know, can't go wrong with a grilled cheese. There's an art to making grilled cheeses, okay? I know it seems like an easy recipe, but there's an art to it, okay? I spread a little nonstick butter on my pan. Then I'm gonna put some organic butter in there too, you know? And make sure that spreads enough for the size of the sandwich. Then we have two slices of Velveeta, one slice to hit every corner so we Cut up one slice to get all those missing edges, you know? No edge left behind. Press it down with your spatula. Ooh! Don't do that. Didn't put my stove down all the way. <laughs> and I'm just gonna hold it down until the other side gets brown, not black, okay? We're not making Cajun cheeses. We're making grilled cheeses. And you don't wanna cook it too fast either because then the bread will be cooked, but not the cheese. It's a science, I'm telling you. Now when I feel like one side is almost just about done, I'm gonna cut another little piece of butter. See, in my old pans, they cook faster because my old pans was trifling, but my new pans, they wanna cook all perfectly and stuff, so these ones, it takes a little longer. All right, that's a little brown. So before I flip it, I'm gonna add some more butter. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And there you have the perfect grilled cheese. Make sure you cut a diagonal. Otherwise it won't taste good. Okay, everybody knows when you go to Target, you go for what you came there for and you leave with stuff you didn't come there for, okay? This is one of those things. These are zip top platinum silicone containers. It is yet another one of the many affordable, sustainable options Target has to offer. And every time I go on Target now, I buy one so that I can have like a collection now. Because when you have kids or you meal prep or you always have leftovers, like I found myself using either a bajillion sandwich baggies or Tupperware that I can never find the tops to because we all know there's like a Tupperware top thief in everybody's home. You have a whole set of Tupperware and then all of a sudden, little by little, the tops go missing. Don't have time for it. Then I would end up using foil, waste a whole bunch of foil on Tupperware. It just is too much. So with these, as we've said over and over in this video, you eliminate your use of plastic. It's non-toxic. It stands up on its own, so you can just load the sandwich in while it's standing on up. Bam, bam, and you just press it closed up top. You can use it in the dishwasher, the freezer, the microwave, refrigerator, wherever. It's pretty dang durable. I like the fact that you can use it in the microwave and the freezer, because you can't put plastic in the microwave, obviously. And one of these containers can replace up to like 5,000 disposable sandwich bags, because all you have to do is pop it in the dishwasher. The other night, I put my leftover salmon in here, put it in the fridge, and then the next day, popped it in the microwave, then popped it in the dishwasher, okay? So like I said, when you go to Target, you know, for that one thing, and you end up, you know, browsing around like we all do for stuff we don't need. Grab you one of these until you have like a whole little collection, then you can get rid of all your plastic storage bags. I felt like this video was really important to make and shout out to Target for sponsoring this video because I'm trying to do my part as far as getting rid of a lot of plastic, like I said, and also using less harmful chemicals like in my house, because you inhale that and then it gets on surfaces and you touch like, I'm just being more mindful of that the older I get. I wish I would've started a long time ago. It's probably a bee she's scared of. So I feel like I showed you guys a bunch of different ways you guys can switch out different things. You don't have to do it all at one time. You know, just pick up one thing that is sustainable when you go to Target and pretty soon it will all add up. Finally made it outside, done adulting. Now I need my sunscreen. I already put it all over my body, but you know that was PG. <laughs> There we go. Yes, son. Got my mommy juice with my metal straw and the rest of the day is gonna be a pool day. Thank you so much again to Target for sponsoring this video. Always a pleasure. Until next time, love ya. Mwah.